Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to validate a spring uh, bean class uh, using JSR303 and the JSR349 annotations. And uh, uh, this is the project uh, I had created in my previous video tutorial and uh, just I have created a new project offline uh, with this name a spring form valid web app 3 and all files i have copied from uh, project 2 to project 3 and here i'm going to show you something new uh, regarding the uh, bean valid bean field validation so if you look into the uh, this resource bundle then here some of the things i have basically uh, hard coded so if you talk about the spring mbc uh, form validation then some of the things you can make dynamic so that if uh, tomorrow some developer comes and they make uh, i mean changes in this field this field name uh, or they change some kind of uh, uh, messages right uh, then dynamically that will pick up in the properties file so first of all i would like to here name field i mean field name we have hard coded everywhere right so field name you can retrieve in the uh, like this so curly bracket zero so this represents the field name so here this is going to print at runtime name can't be empty similarly we can replace for the age so age can't be empty and uh, So everywhere I'm going to replace with the zero and this is also zero email can't be empty and here enter valid email so zero right and country so field name will be referred by the zeroth index right so this much modification I have done now I'm going to write one more validation for name field so here uh, we had talked about the some of the validations like validation annotation like not empty not null max mean email etc but there are many more annotations you can use for the form field validation right so here if your field your field is a string data type then you can apply some kind of regular expression as well so that's why we have a pattern annotation and in this point annotation uh, you can add some attributes like uh, regular expression right here you can specify the regular expression so in this case i'm going to specify a regular expression i want name should be always alphabetic so if anybody is going to enter uh, any number in num number in the uh, user name field then this is going to uh, show some error so this validation how we can do we can provide a regular expression for this so how we can uh, specify the regular expression for this so to achieve this we'll have to write the regular expression like this and uh, and zero digit it starts from zero to till nine so zero to nine we don't allow them user to enter over here and this should comes into the double quotes sorry so this is the regular expression which will not allow to enter any digits in the name field right and here i'm not going to hard code the message uh, as i have shown in the earlier video tutorial message we have moved to the uh, resource bundle itself and how we can form the message key first of all we specify the annotation name then uh, a bean name that is user and then field name right and we can say zero right so that is nothing but the name uh, so you can write uh, uh, something like number is not allowed for and zero this will give the field name so something like that you can specify right if you want to impose some more validation on the name like we have a size annotation right so you can size you can have a attribute like mean 
uh, mean I'm going to specify 6 and we have a max then max I'm going to specify 20 and here of course you can hard code the message but uh, as from the previous video we are we have moved message uh, into the property file so again I'm going to apply uh, message for this validation as well so size dot user sorry size dot user dot name and here I'm going to write something different so zero zero index represents the field name so this will on the runtime this will substitute by the field name name so I would want to display name uh, name uh, name length or you can say uh, length uh, uh, name uh, uh, field is bitmain bitmain uh, this and something like this right so you have two uh, attributes for size right max and mean so these attributes basically uh, here uh, if you arrange these two attributes in the alphabetical order then max comes first and then mean comes so curly bracket of 0 represents the field name and curly bracket of uh, curly bracket of uh, uh, curly bracket of uh, 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 curly bracket of 1 represents uh, max value and curly bracket of 2 represents the mean value so here we have a mean and max so you can say this is between 2 to 1 right this makes sense right 2 represents the mean value and these two parameter if you arrange as per the alphabetical order then this comes first and then this comes right so curly bracket 2 will print the mean value and curly bracket 1 will uh, print the max value so this way you can replace these two attributes on the runtime now let's run this project and see let's check it out so this validation is working properly or not so what is that so i don't know what is the problem now we need to remove this project and let's run it again Now register page has displayed. Let's open in the external browser. I'm going to just open in the Chrome. And if you click on the register button, then you can see uh, name can't be empty. Name field is between 6 to 20. Number is allowed for name. Uh, email for email also validation is coming and for age as well. So here I'm going to apply name as Kishan 2. Right? And if I click on here then saying number it not allowed for name so number should not allowed let's say this is kishan kumar and email i'm going to specify as kishan so saying that email is not valid so let's enter valid email now age i'm going to enter 10 saying that is ca cannot be less than 12 so 12 is inclusive so let's say enter 12 and country i'm going to select india if you press then data is submitted successfully after validation 
right if you go to the back then this way basically this all validations are working perfectly fine so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, and this is not the end of the validation uh, things so there are a lot of many more validations you can go and check it out in this package java x dot validation dot constraint so here you have a we had talked about the not null mean max right so, uh, null validation you can apply size we have seen right so if you have any data type as a date then date validation you can you can apply uh, annotation like uh, of past right a past uh, so this is basically valid for the date so if you want to validate like date of birth then we know that date of birth always should come in the past and if you anybody try to enter the future date then that should display some error so past you can apply for the date again one more thing annotation which is valid for the date only that is future so in some if scenario if some event uh, is going to occur in the future and you want to validate that date for the future then we have a another annotations future and these two uh, applies on the date data type now similarly we have a many more va validations if you want to validate something like credit card right credit card then of course you can apply this validation before the credit card number so there are many more valid validations for rest of the things you can go and you can go through the documentation and you'll find a lot of validation is provided by the uh, hibernate validator jars so that's all i have in this video tutorial uh, this code basically i'm going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so this rest of the files i haven't explained because these files already we have gone through the previous video so that's the reason i did not explain these files but uh, just you download this code and have a look so this is pretty straightforward uh, web based application spring web based application uh, there you can see we have a web based application like web.xml there we have register dispatcher servlet which works as a controller in spring mbc uh, we have kept all messages uh, in the resource bundle message dot properties we have a spring web configuration file where there we have uh, just in our annotation based annotation like uh, uh, we want to perform the some kind of validation right bean validation so make sure that you have enabled uh, annotation driven and we have registered all three packages for controller service and doll here right for auto scanning and we have registered bean class is called internal resource view resolver who is basically responsible to resolve the view name physical location of the your view and uh, in java classes uh, we have a controller we have there we have a space we have defined some request handler method three request handler method as per our requirement we have a doll layer basically this is not going to interact with the database but we have made in memory database by using the list right which is having the get user list and add user method now we have a model class and in this model class we have a properties uh, we have a private fields and before the every fields we have made some validation right and this validation message is coming from the resource bundle and finally we have a service class right so service class is basically used by the controller uh, in controller we have auto wire this service class and control makes the call to the service and service finally interact with the doll layer right so that's all i have in this video tutorial so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial